a, I recently found out about this article that I have here up on my screen about Evernote about to seriously limit its plan for free users. If you haven't seen this yet, um, starting December 4th, they are going to be charging you if you have an account that has more than 50 notes and more than one notebook. So for myself, I keep all of my stamp sets organized in Evernote. I've done it for years. I have an old, old video showing you how I do it. And it appears that I need to change this because I don't want to pay for something I can do for free somewhere else. And I have found that on Apple Notes, I can have the same exact functionality for free and I can access it from any of my Apple devices. I am currently on a MacBook Pro. I'm running Ventura 13.6.1. And then I also have an iPhone and I have an iPad. So I've tested this already. So I wanted to show you how I did it. So let me get this out of the way. Let me open Evernote and I will show you. It's probably gonna come up and tell me it wants me to buy something because it always does. Oh, it didn't do it. There you go. So you can see my stamp inventory. I have 575 items in my stamp inventory. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to export them all into Apple Notes and it's so incredibly easy. Oh my gosh. So what you do is make sure you're in your notebook where you have your items. You go to the three dots where it says more action. Click on that. Export your notebook. When it comes up, do the Enix format. Don't change any of these. Just leave everything as it was when it pops up. Say export. This is going to be really fast. I have 575 notes. I know some of you may have more. And then put it on the desktop. And I already have one sitting there as a test, so we'll go ahead and let it say stamp inventory one to use. Say save. And you will see how fast this goes. It's done. Can you believe it? I did not stop the video. I did not speed it up. Nothing. So that's done. We can close Evernote because we're done with you, Evernote. And then you want to open Apple Notes. <clears throat> so in Apple Notes, if you've never used Apple Notes, you can have all kinds of folders for your notes. You can share notes. Like this shared one up here is with my husband and it's actually shopping lists that we have either for Sam's, um, for Home Depot Lowe's. And then um, there was one that I shared for Legos. We're, we're we're adult fans of Lego, so we keep a list of our Legos and we share the list. I know we're kind of funny. But anyway, getting off the topic. So what you do now is you want to import that file that we just exported. So come up here to File. You want to say Import to Notes. The reason I put it on my desktop is because I can find it easy. Stamp Inventory 1. That's the one we just exported. Say Import. Yes, I want to import. Wait until you see how fast this is. I will just keep talking. So you know I didn't speed anything up and I didn't cut anything. And isn't this amazing? You can see how fast it's going and it is done. Looky there, there are all of my stamp sets. Now, it brings them in as a default of which ones you put when. So ones that you added today, ones you added you know, in different months. I like to see mine, I like to sort them by title. I always put the title as the stamp set number. And then I organize my stamp sets in buckets and by the number. So if you wanna see how I do that, I have another video, I'll link it down below so you can see how I do that. But what I like about this is you can come here to search and you can say, okay, I wanna find something that has a cat. I wanna see a stamp set that has cats. So here's one that has cats. Here's one, this one has a cat, that one has a cat. Looks like I've got them in here a couple times. Oh, it's because they're recently deleted. It's looking in all of my folders. Um, I've tested this a few times for you. So that's how you search. So we'll get rid of the search there. And then let me show you how I put a new stamp set in. So I have a stamp set that I need to put in and it is Z. Oops, I want a capital Z. Did I make a capital Z? It doesn't look like a capital, I guess it is. 7088. And it is the Silver Bells. Well, now I'm all in capitals, darn it. Silver Bells card making. Okay, so what I do next is I go 
to, um, <coughs> I go to my website and I pull up that particular stamp set, Z7088. Here it is. And what I do is I grab this right here with my little grabber hand and oops, shoot, hold on, go like this. Come on, click it. Okay, there we go. Click it and then, oh, but, well, it's not working. Okay, so right click, copy image, come back over here, right click and paste. And it'll paste your image in there for you. And then what I like to do is I like to pick up everything I can about this stamp set. So I'll write in all of the, the greetings, season's greetings, wishing you joy. Um, there's ornaments, there's bells, um, this uses dyes. Um, anything else that I want to say about this particular stamp set, that's how I put it in here. And it automatically saves it. I don't need to do anything additional. And that's it. So now if I want to search for something and I want to find something that has bells, it just popped that up for me. And then here's some other ones that have bells. These are some older stamp sets that have bells. So this is a really nice way of organizing your stamps. I hope this helped. If anyone has any additional questions, um, you want me to show you something else, uh, just let me know down in the comments below. I will be more than happy to get back with you. And thanks again for being here. If you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button for me. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. That would be so awesome. And if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you like these kind of videos. And I will see you very soon with another crafty video. Bye, everybody.